Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a video on an updated shop tour. I did one long ago and I get questions all the time about my shop. And since I'm constantly updating it, changing things out, getting new tools, new organization, I figured I'd go ahead and do an updated shop tour. So let's go ahead and get started. First, this is the scene typically you see me shooting all my videos in. So this is my workbench area. So what I have here on top of my workbench is, this is a really cool old piece, and I use this for storage. This is definitely one of those pieces that I use for everything. This bottom row, I need some new labels, can you tell? But this bottom row here is pretty much hardware, and then these are like my sanding discs here, my surf prep pads, um, drawer guides and hardware, all kinds of things. So this I got not too long ago and I absolutely love it because it's vintage and it's really cool and it's functional. Everything in my shop is really functional. Then over here, I just recently got these. These were bought on Amazon. And if you have a pegboard, they're absolutely fabulous because I need more workspace. And so getting everything off my counter is key. I'll link everything here below. And then um, I hang all of my brushes. Uh, the ones that I actively use on a daily basis, I do keep them in water. Those are my Klingon brushes. They're meant to be stored in water. And that's just a simple mason jar, a little bit of water because they self-clean. So like last night, this was clear. And this is what came off of the brush overnight. And then those are chip clips from the dollar store. So anyway, this is where you see me shoot all of my videos. And then over here to the left, I have our toolboxes. My husband, although he doesn't use the shop and the garage at all, I kind of kicked him out a long time ago. He does still have a toolbox with some essentials. Most of his stuff is in his shop, which is located in the backyard. Anyway, my toolbox here, it's not a huge one, but I got this from Harbor Freight and I use it as a toolbox and also as a hardware organizer. I keep a lot of hardware in stock because my clients always want to update hardware. And also when I sell pieces, most of the time I'm updating the hardware. So I kind of use this as a dual purpose toolbox as well as hardware. I get asked about a lot. What is under the spotted cow cover? Okay. Just so you know, my husband made this cover for me because I'm very particular about keeping my tools really nice and good condition and clean. And so my husband made this spotted cow cover for me to go with my barn theme. And underneath it is my Festool dust collection system and my Merca sander. And then on top in the Merca box sits my surf prep. So every night this gets cleaned up and tucked away and covered so that I can keep it really nice. I've had my Festool for I don't know even how long I've had it now, but it looks brand new because I like to keep my tools. Over here, right. I recently set up a workstation over here for myself because when I'm looking for furniture, I can sit here at my little workstation and do that while paint is drying. I also keep track of all my custom booked work on my calendar. So it gives me a little mini workspace out here in the shop that I don't have to constantly be going inside to do some of the things that I could do right here. Also, this is where I store a lot of my items. Everything is labeled and I have a lot of storage because with painting and running a furniture business, there is a lot of things. Everybody that needs a tractor stool. I got this a couple years ago for my birthday. In case you're wondering where it came from, it was Tractor Supply Company. My husband bought it for me and I absolutely here Next love to my wash area is my staging items, that's where I use everything for my staging. I keep this in this little staging cabinet. And then again, I have another car rolling cart with my essentials that I use um, and go to grab for like all day, every day. The chair over here is from Amazon. I absolutely love this chair. It's really comfortable. I do sit in it quite a bit when I'm painting, um, rolling around in it really super easy. And then here is my motorcycle lift. I use this, which I need to clean, I can see, but I use this for lifting up and getting underneath furniture. My husband bought this for me a couple of years ago because I used to lay on the ground all the time and it just became really hard on my body. So with this, I can go ahead and elevate my furniture and get it up off the ground and get underneath. Here in this area is where I store all of my pieces that are finished. 
and either ready to go for a client or ready for sale. As you can see, I keep them all wrapped up to make sure that they stay dust free, no overspray, and no accidents that can happen on them once they're done. I do wrap them in sheets and clip them with clothespins and then on top of the sheet, I put a moving blanket and I clip that as well. So this is kind of the area when things are done, they go to. Now, if you're looking at my flooring, you're going, wow, she has carpeted floor. And yes, I do. So let me give you kind of an overall view. I do have a carpeted floor and it works out fantastic for me because I'm able to take my pieces and slide them all around without needing assistance. So I do cover my floors when I am painting with drop cloths so that I do protect and not get a bunch of overspray. I have not replaced these floors ever and I've had them for about a year, probably over a year now. And so they stay in really great shape. Sometimes I do have to replace the tape. As you can see, it does get a little worn for wear, but um, it's gaffer's tape and it comes up really easily and can be replaced really easily and inexpensive. This corner is where I tend to keep all of the pieces that either need to be worked on or are unfinished and they're kind of in line. So I try to keep my furniture as much as I can. I keep it all separate, but it doesn't always work that way. But when I can, I keep all the need to be worked on, ready to go pieces for me over in this corner. Now this is sitting in front of my staging area. Let me show you guys my staging area. My staging area is, I think it's about my staging area here. My staging area was built by my husband. I know, do you see the common thread here? I say my husband a lot, but he is one of my biggest supporters and helps me so incredibly much. I used to have a uh, backdrop by Amazon and when the wind blew, so did the backdrop. And so he came up with the plan to build me something in place in my shop that wouldn't blow over. And this certainly isn't going to. The flooring, which I probably am about ready to redo again, um, is actual hardwood flooring that we ripped out of a house and recycled. The flooring comes out about five feet. And then the staging area itself is about 14 feet in length. It's made out of all old reclaimed fence wood. And then he made those shelves too out of piping and again, old wood. We try to recycle and reuse as much as we possibly can. I absolutely love my staging areas. My staging area, it's one of my most favorite things and it's recognizable. It looks really professional in pictures and that's exactly what I'm I wondering. Where do I store all of my paint? Well, this is my most commonly used paint. Um, I do swap out on these shelves depending on what my mood is and what I'm using, but Fusion is kind of my go-to. And so I store everything here. I go through these really quickly so they actually don't sit too terribly long, but here's one of my spaces that he built me a shelf for because I was running out of room. See, you guys, this is where I store the rest of my paint below my workbench. In the cabinet on the right, I store all of my general finishes stuff. And on the cabinet on the left, I store my paint or my other stains and other paint brands. So I have completely taken over the garage. It is 100% like my space. And I'm super thankful to my husband because not every man would give up right, their you guys home. that is it we are at the end of the video this was just a little fun video because i get asked so much about my workspace that i thought it would be fun to do an updated shop tour if you have any questions or positive comments please make sure you leave them down below i love engaging with you guys and i'll always answer your questions i'll also link all of the products that i possibly can so you guys know where to get them and thank you so much for being subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please do so, so that you can not only get my latest videos as soon as they come out, but it helps support my YouTube channel and keeps me going. Thanks again, you guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.